In this video, we're going to be creating a Fibonacci sequence service. We're going to be learning what Fibonacci sequence is. We're going to be using recursive function. We're going to create a service that generates some Fibonacci numbers and we're going to be testing it. So the Fibonacci number is a sequence of numbers, the first two of which are 1 and 1 and the next ones are generated by the sum of the previous two. So 2 is generated by summing 1 and 1, 3 is generated by summing 1 and 2, 5 is generated by summing 2 and 3, 8 is generated by summing 3 and 5, 13 is generated by summing 5 and 8, etc. The recursive function is basically a function that refers to itself. So we're going to be calling the function itself inside of the function. I will show you how that works. And we have a Drupal instance here installed and we're going to be creating a new module with its info file really quickly. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a new service and we're going to be creating a new file inside of the src folder and we're going to be calling it Fibo Fibonacci service. And here we're going to be writing PHP of course the namespace is Drupal Drupal up Fibo and we're going to be creating our service class here with the name Fibonacci service and we're going to say that it's a service that Let's us generate Fibonacci sequences. Perfect. And here we're going to be having a public function that is going to be responsible for generating the Fibonacci numbers. So we're going to be calling it calc some Fibos for calculating some Fibonacci numbers and we're going to say it generates certain amount of Fibonacci numbers perfect and to the calcsum Fibos, we're going to be passing a argument and that is going to be number of numbers. That means that as we're passing the argument number of numbers, for example, when we say 8, we would expect our function to generate 8 Fibonacci numbers. So. We're going to be needing a protected variable called Fibu sequence that is going to be an array. And as we saw in Wikipedia, the first two Fibonacci numbers are always one and one. So let's go ahead and start creating the algorithm for generating the Fibonacci numbers. So we can first say if 
the count of the Fibonacci numbers of the Fibonacci sequence so let's say this Fibo sequence equals the number of numbers then simply we're going to be returning the FIBO sequence so let's say as we call the function if we call it with 2 so if we say we want the first two Fibonacci numbers it will not calculate anything but it will just return the 1 and 1 the first two numbers that's perfect the interesting part is what happens in else here so if we have to generate more numbers we're going to be saying this FIBO sequence new entry equals to the this FIBO sequence it is basically the previous before the last one so it's going to be the count again of FIBO sequence minus 2 and we're going to be summing it with the last FIBO sequence entry without one so that is basically saying sum the last two items in the FIBO sequence array let's just end it properly here and then what we want to do is we want to say this calc some FIBOs and pass again the number of numbers here and that means that first as it comes as it enters with one one it will generate the next one so it will generate two here and it will call the function again that means recursion so the function that is called here is actually the same function so basically as it generates two here it will come here again and if we have number of numbers three it will exit here and we have Fibonacci sequence one one and two we are calling the same function again so calling it here means we are returning here and we're going to be checking if this is the last number that we want to generate and it will either return it or it will continue what I would like to do is I would like to make this bit here a bit more clean so I will create a new private function and we we'll call it get preceding and we're going to say that the and here we say preceding equals to one by default and let's say that it returns this bit here and instead of two we're going to say preceding so that means that we can simply 
call this bit here so we can say here this get preceding to and here this get preceding one that's a bit cleaner in my opinion so let's go ahead and say that it's a helper function that is getting the preceding number perfect and of course here like this that's perfect and the last thing we want to do is we want to create a new file and we're going to be calling it the name of the module dot services yaml so we're going to be writing here ser services and then we're going to say drupal up feeble dot calc feeble will call our service and then we're going to say class and it starts with Drupal then the module then Fibonacci service that's perfect so the next thing we want to do is we want to activate the actual module and Drupal Fibonacci then we're going to be testing the service and the generation of the actual Fibonacci sequence which is very interesting so let's go to devel and execute PHP and in order to check it let's go ahead and say Fibo service equals Drupal service and we're going to be calling it using the value here from the Drupal Fibo services YAML. And first, let's go ahead and can't show the service if everything's fine. So execute. And yes, our Fibonacci service is accessible as service since we're getting it through the service container. Let's go ahead and calculate some Fibonacci numbers to see if our algorithm works. So let's go ahead and call calc sum Fibos and let's go ahead first and say we want to generate four let's say five Fibonacci numbers execute and we have no let's go ahead and check something really quickly yes here we have to say return of course let's go ahead and check it one more time yes now we have the first five Fibonacci numbers. It's one, one, two, three, and five. Let's go ahead and generate a bit more Fibonacci numbers. Let's generate 10 Fibonacci numbers. Oh, that's perfect. So 10 Fibonacci numbers. Let's go ahead and generate 40 Fibonacci numbers and that becomes crazy as you see that's quite hard to calculate by hand but with our little service we're basically able to generate quite a lot of Fibonacci numbers so that's it if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe don't forget to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button like comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching